UT Arlington faced off against CSU Bakersfield Saturday afternoon at the College Park Center. The Mavericks pulled away in the first half, shooting 6 of 15 from three-point land, thanks to Redger Dow, who had 11 points at halftime. UTA led 30 to 22 going into the break. The Roadrunners climbed back into the game in the second half, tying the game at 48 with 8.14 to go. UTA would find themselves down two when Lonnie McClanahan tied the game with an electrifying dunk with 2.14 to go. Both teams began trading baskets in a wild last few minutes. Bakersfield hit seven threes in the second half, but the Mavericks would counter every one of them. McClanahan would give UTA a two-point lead with this and-one layup, but the Roadrunners came back to take the lead by one. Both teams wound up tied at 65 at the end of regulation, and we would go into overtime. In overtime, Jamel Aller sunk a three to tie the game for UTA, and then Brandon Edwards would eventually put it away with the dunk, and the Mavericks survived 79-75 to over CSU Bakersfield. UTA moves to 5-7 and seven with conference play beginning January 2nd against Arkansas State. Coach Cross and Brandon Edwards after the game. That's the one thing we haven't done well is finish off games. And for our guys to win a close game in overtime, that's a step in the right direction. And now it'll give our guys confidence and, and, and they're going to believe more next time it's a close game. And just uh, re really thankful that we pulled this one out. And basically overtime was big for us. You know, we knew we had to go out there and play our hearts out because they were sticking right in there uh, with us, you know, the second half. So we had to go out there and just try to give it our all. It was like where the game was going to be won or lost at.